I've always been a sports fan, so I'm kind of a risk taker. So I like to be able to work on projects that involve a little bit of that element, that excitement. My name is Andy Grohalski, and I'm a sports artist. I come from a, an artist family. My dad's an artist, and uh, watching him as I was growing up, really, it made me think about my own abilities. When I was younger, it was mostly like wildlife art. I really got into the, the wildlife end of it, partly because it was big. If you think back to the 80s, it was just huge. But after a while, I realized that the market was just so oversaturated that I felt like, you know, I needed to do something different. And that's, that's when I started looking at sports as an option. I guess the first important piece that I worked on was um, Robin Young's 3000th hit. Now that was back in 1993. That whole event was so big in Milwaukee. Doing the Robin Young piece is something that I could actually be part of. And so that's what I did. I, I thought, well, let's, let's see if we can do something. We brought it into the Brewers and uh, they liked it. And that's, that was really the first piece. The one that really stands out is a project that I did with Walter Payton. I was, I was only 29 years old at the time, but Walter Payton was being inducted in the Hall of Fame. And so, again, I thought, well, this, this might be a good opportunity to do something with a major athlete. I was able to work with uh, Walter directly. Unfortunately, uh, after we did the Walter Payton Hall of Fame, collection, which was the main piece that I was working on. Walter died a, a few years later. That was a really exciting project for me, and that was the one that kind of um, was a springboard into other, other pieces because Walter Payton is really, he's a, you know, at the time he was the number, really the number one running back in the league at that point. I work primarily in pastels, and I, I sort of at this point have a love-hate relationship with it. Pastels are, it's the same medium that's used in acrylic and oils, but it's in a dry format. Pastel is such a tricky medium. It's messy, so it's all about control. It's, it's really controlling the medium. But what it allows me to do is it allows me to work in a medium that is relatively quick meaning you don't have the, the uh, binders you have to wait to dry. It's a misunderstood medium, but it's something that I feel really lends itself well for what I do. I work with a lot of um, professional photographers and agents, so we make sure that we secure the rights to the photographs that I use as, as reference. After that, you know, I'll take the piece, I'll, I'll sketch it out, lay it out, make sure that I, I have it where I want it. Um, typically the way I work now is I'll do these little mini concept sketches. And uh, once that sketch is done, we'll send that off uh, to the NFL or to the athletes for approval. Sometimes the athletes, they, they want to have input. The piece that I'm working on right now is an Aaron Rodgers Clay Matthews and Jordan Nelson painting. You have three guys that have been teammates for quite a few years, so they're the most popular. Uh, also, they're, they're probably the most talented. So they're kind of, the idea behind the painting is they're the core of the team. You think of Aaron right now, he's like the Hail Mary King. So you gotta have him throw on the ball. If you look at Jordy, he's sort of in this pose where he just caught the ball, he's taking off. The two of them sort of playing off each other made a lot of sense. Clay, he's, he's your superstar linebacker. He's kind of the leader, he's sort of the captain of the defense. So I felt him just completing a play and pointing sort of gave that strength that the, the piece needed. Faces really are the most difficult because 
that's what people look at. They're going to want to see the personality. So that's really what takes the most time. It's really important that it's, it doesn't look like a photograph. Trying to be a little more painterly, a little more artistic, instead of being a photorealistic type of artist, it's, it's having that looser style I think is important. Players come and go, and to have great athletes is something that doesn't come around very often. When you meet these guys, they bring you in like a teammate, some of them. And that's, that's what they love. That's what they love about sport. So it's all about, it's all about being teammates.